If your child struggles with motion sickness, I bet they have an abnormal VOR response. So this is what it is and this is how you check for it. So the vestibular ocular reflex, or otherwise known as the VOR, is what keeps everything still in our brain. It's what keeps the picture still. So what I mean by that is if I turn left, my eyes reflexively go right, if you see that. If I turn my head right, my eyes reflexively go left. If I go up, they go down. If I go down, they go up. Basically, whatever direction I move my head in, my eyes cancel it out by doing the exact opposite, and that keeps everything still so my vision doesn't get shaky and blurry. But if someone's VOR lags behind a little bit, it doesn't zero out the movements of your head and keep everything steady. Kind of like if you're watching a video and the camera is shaking all over, that's what it would feel like if you had a weaker VOR. All right, so the way that we're gonna show you how to test for the VOR is you either put a sticky note on the wall that has a little dot on it, or you can put a dot on your thumb like that. You know, if you imagine that this is the piece of paper with the dot on it, uh, you're gonna tell them to look at the dot and then turn your head to the right while still looking at the dot. And you're gonna bring it back to middle, and then you're gonna go right again to the middle, right again to the middle, and you're gonna do that 10 times, and you want to look at the dot the whole time. And then once you get done with the right 10 times, you'll go to the left 10 times, and you're gonna keep your eye on that dot as you turn your head to the left. And what the VOR should be able to do is just like what my eyes did, they should be able to stay on the dot the whole time. What you'll see if your child has a weak VOR is when they turn their head, their eyes will initially go with it. So if you imagine the dot is right in front of me, their eyes might look like this. They will skip off of the dot and then come back. They'll skip off of the dot and then come back. They'll skip off and come back. All right, and the weaker your VOR is, the more times your eyes will slip off of the dot. So if you don't have a sticky note or anything like that, you can honestly just use my thumb as the target and you can just pause the video like this and have them look at that dot while turning their head 10 times to the right and 10 times to the left. So to improve your VOR, my recommendations always in my care plan is to have a better diet, to improve your core strength, to do vestibular exercises, to receive chiropractic care, and to complete my online neurodevelopmental program. So I talk about this in greater detail in our free ebook.